The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Dear friends, brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, it is fitting as we celebrate the festivities of Our Lady of Ladaval this year. We also celebrate the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. There is to be a reason to feel joyful, blessed, and loved by God because of this gift of faith given to us as Filipino nation and Filipino people. A faith in God that accompanies us for 500 years and the years to come. Siguro po yung iba magtatanong sa 500 years ng pananampalataya bilang handog para sa ating lahat ng Diyos. Saan ba talaga natin makikita ang ating mahal na ina? Our Blessed Mother is already part of this gift granted to us. I tend to believe that where the Son is, there is also the Mother. Where the children are, there should also be the parents. Good parents do not leave their children on their own. Kaya po siguro unang-unang lesson na kailangan natin tandaan dito. Parents should always care for their children and do not abandon them. Accompany them in their journey in life. Make them good disciples of Jesus. This can happen only effectively if parents themselves teach by example. Lalong-lalo na po sa mga magulang, during this time, many children feel depressed. At kayo siguro mismo, kayong mga magulang na may mga anak na nag-aaral ngayon. Nararamdaman nyo ang kanilang kalagayan, ang kanilang problema. And it's sad to say, big number of them, of these children, are having issues of mental health. And they are also stressed by many tasks, lalong-lalo na sa school, kahit na medium ngayon ay online instruction. They cannot anymore live a normal life that they used to have. Na dati tumatakbo sila sa playground kasama ang kanilang mga kalaro, pero ngayon nasa tapat na lang sila ng kanilang mga computer. And I think it is the more that parents are needed by their children to be by their side. Kaya sa mga magulang, sabi ko nga, kung nasa ang anak, dapat nandun din ang mga magulang. Samahan nyo lagi ang inyong anak sa panahon ng pagsubok na ito. Pero hindi naman ho sa punto na kayo na ang gagawa ng kanilang mga online assignments at sasagot sa kanilang mga modules. 
Dahil sabi ng ibang eskwelahan, baka daw ang mga magulang na ang bigyan ng grades. Dahil sobrang suporta sa kanilang mga anak. Sa tingin ko naman po hindi aabot doon. Dear friends, as we have heard in the gospel reading for today, Mary was given to the disciples to the words of His Son on the cross. Woman, behold your son. And to the beloved disciple, behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. The beloved disciple to whom our Blessed Mother was entrusted to, as many Bible scholars would tell us, is not a particular person, but a character in the Gospel of John that can represent all of us. The beloved disciple could be you, it could be me, or the community, or the church. Our Blessed Mother is given to us by our Lord as an individual person, joining in life through faith, or joining as a family, as a community, like the church, who we are today. When our Blessed Mother was received into a community, I suppose she did not stay with the disciples as a visitor. She was neither a guest in their company. Jesus gave his mother to the disciple because he knows she could be their pillar of strength and teacher. For a group of believers known as disciples, afraid of the consequences of being followers of Jesus, who is nailed on the cross. Dear friends, for a newly emerging community of believers, most likely they are filled with much uncertainty. They can only hold on to their faith on the promised resurrection of our Lord. There is the Blessed Mother they can hang on to as she is in their company whom they have welcomed. There is our Blessed Mother, the pillar of strength to the community, the most blessed woman, a woman filled with God's grace and favor. The community of disciples needed Mary, the one entrusted to them by Jesus. In a way, we also need our Blessed Mother now. Sa panahon na ito, Di ba yan din ang hanap natin? Magkaroon ng mapagkukunan ng lakas sa harap ng problema na parang wala ng katapusan. Kailangan din nating halimbawa ng tapang upang tayo hindi panghinaan ng loob sa pagpapatuloy natin sa buhay. For a community, that is the disciples who have welcomed our Blessed Mother, Mary was a teacher, the one who will teach the disciples the life of simplicity, humility, and purity of heart, which will become the foundation of the relationship with one another, with God, as a community. And so, dear friends, I think this is something that we should always bear in mind. Celebrating the solemnity of Our Lady of Lanabal on the occasion of the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines is all about commemorating our reception of our faith in Jesus Christ, this time as one people and one nation. And amidst the pandemic, we are being reminded by this occasion that we are receiving is our Blessed Mother. The way she was received by the disciples, not the deadly virus that made many people sick and die and continue to suffer. Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid, kung nakinig tayong mabuti, sa Ibanghelyo ngayong araw na ito sa ating Nabina Mas. Ang ina ng Diyos ang ibinibigay sa atin. 
hindi ang sakit at pandemya na malamang gawa ng tao. Ito ang panahon na puno tayo ng pangamba dahil walang katiyakan ng kaligtasan ng ating buhay. Pare-pareho po ang tanong natin na sumasagi sa ating mga isipan. Di ba? Nakapag-isip din kayo. Kailan kaya matatapos itong sakit na ito? Masasama ba ako sa mga pwedeng pumanaw? O kaya ito ba magiging kapahamakan ng biyembro ng aking pamilya o mga kamag-anak o mga kaibigan? Dear friends, our blessed mother is the mother given to us in this time of difficulty. She should be our strength and our teacher. Ang ating mahal na ina ang ibinibigay sa atin upang mapagkunan natin ang lakas at siya ang ating magiging guru. On this occasion, may we include in our prayerful intentions the mission of the Dominican province of the Philippines as we celebrate our 50th founding anniversary. The Filipino Dominicans faithfully continue to honor and spread the devotion to Our Lady of Lanabal, a tradition which we have inherited from our mother Spanish Dominican province and its early missionaries. And we thank God for this occasion and for the 50 years that God has given to the Dominicans, Filipino Dominicans as a province. And so, dear friends, we continue to praise and bless the Lord for the gift of faith. And we continue to receive our Blessed Mother into our lives as our inspiration and source of strength.